Hello, thanks for joining me, Sage here. You're watching top ASX buzzing stocks for the day on Cowkine TV. Let's look at the ASX listed stocks that have made the news today because of the latest announcements. And one of the world's largest developers and operators of private toll roads, Atlas Arteria, today announced results for the six months ended 30th June 2022. The company reported statutory net profit after tax standing at $117.1 million. APRR, the fourth largest motorway group in Europe, reported net profit after tax of 534.9 million euros. APRR toll revenue was up 20%. Warnow Tunnel toll revenue was up 11.5% and Dules Greenway toll revenue increased 20.3%. For the 2023 financial year, the company said that it has strong organic growth potential within the current portfolio and continues to focus on improving average concession life as well as creating a clear pathway to sustainable cash flows from the Dules Greenway. In the opening session today, Atlas Arteria's shares traded at 7 Australian dollars 98 cents, being up by 0.06%. Next up for you, we have Australian digital travel business Webjet. Today, they've announced that their 2023 first half bookings are currently tracking at 95% of pre-pandemic levels and that all three businesses are profitable for the 2023 financial year, trading year to date. Cash surplus from operations is expected to be more than $100 million, 2023's first half financial year. The company expects that the Webjet online travel agency business to return to pandemic earnings levels once international airline capacity returns to 2019 levels. And the company also expects to exceed pre-pandemic earnings in the 2024 financial year. Earlier today, Webjet's shares traded at 5 Australian dollars 28 cents, being up by 3.32%. Moving along, Australian-based multinational retailer Harvey Norman has made the news today. They've announced its results for the 2022 financial year. The Australian giant announced a net profit after tax of $811.53 million, down by 3.6% from 2021's financial year. A bit for the 2022 financial year was $1.43 billion, down 1.4% from 2021's financial year. In Australia, fri uh, franchisees were negatively affected by the prolonged government mandated lockdowns and closures of Delta in the first half of 2021. And its franchising operation segment profit before tax results are at close to $292.85 million, a decrease of 23.7% from the first half of 2021. It has announced a fully franked final dividend of 17.5 cents per share. And this morning, Harvey Norman's shares traded at $4.31. They were down 0.46%. Now hopefully you're getting most of what's being read out to you today. These announcements can be found on the ASX website as well as this full report up on Calkine Media's YouTube channel later today. So do check it out if you need to again. Next up for you, we've got the Australian-based regenerative medicine company Mesoblast today. They reported financial results as well as we make our way head on through reporting season and their operational highlights for the period ended June 30th, 2022. So its cash on hand was close to 60.4 million US dollars with pro forma US 105.5 million dollars after raising gross proceeds of 45 million US dollars via a private placement in August 2022. Net operating spends are down 35% on the comparative year. Total revenue increased 37% and research and development expenses reduced by 38%. So earlier today, Mesoblast shares traded at 80 cents, being up by 2.55%.
And lastly for you today, we have technology company Decadata, and they've announced that they have successfully completed a $50 million fully underwritten placement of approximately 4.9 million new fully paid ordinary shares. The new shares will be issued at $10.30 each, which represents a 10.3% discount to the closing price of the company's shares of $11.48 on Monday 29th of August 2022. Proceeds of this placement will be used to fund the expansion of Dicadata's Kernel Warehouse, increasing warehouse capacity by over 70%, as well as to provide increased balance sheet flexibility to support its long-term growth objectives. Dicadata shares traded at 10 Australian dollars 56 cents, being down by 7.97% in the morning's trade. All right. Well, thanks very much for joining us on that report. As you well know, there are many, many, many more announcements that will be made during the day, probably more than we can read in one day. So that's why we try and pick the top ones for you. Hopefully that has been informative to you. Do keep watching Calkine TV for more of these great market insights. But that is all for this edition of the Top ASX Buzzing Stocks of the Day. See you soon. This is Sage signing off.